What's going on everybody it is the Saints Hub and it's been a while since I've recorded a video. I will address where I was and my current situation um, in the later parts of this video because I know everyone's mainly here for the title and that is according to this source Jadavion Clowney has signed with the New Orleans Saints. It's just not official yet. Um, it is official, however, that the Saints are very interested in Jadavion Clowney. Um, they've said uh, they're now sending today representatives to Houston, which is where Clowney lives with his family. I don't know if he's single or has a family, but either way, they're sending representatives to tell Clowney why he is in the best possible situation to sign with the New Orleans Saints. Uh, Rappaport has tweeted out that we are interested uh Josiah Anderson, JPA football. According to the exact quote, we are making an all-out blitz to sign Clowney, which means we are making a all-out blitz to win this Super Bowl, which I'm very excited for. And man, he is a special player that can change our D-line. But um Yeah, but according and a lot of Saints fans are going crazy right now because like did he sign? Is, is he going to sign with the Titans? Is he going to sign back with the Seahawks? Because those are the two teams, I think, that are still contending. Um, a lot of Saints fans are going crazy. But according to this source, uh, Kalani's already signed. Uh, Nader723, who was the original person to break that the Saints were interested in Jadavion Clowney uh, months ago. And now, he has been retweeted by Rappaport uh, saying... By, uh, I think Nick Underhill tweeted, great job, Nader, for being on top of everything. And then Rappaport retweeted that. So, basically, Rappaport giving Nader the credit that he was the first to break it and did a good job. So, that means he's a reliable source. But And according to Nader723, Clowney signed a one-year $10 million deal. Is this official yet? No. Am I just reporting this? Yes. I don't know if that means it's official. I'm just saying that according to this man that we have signed Jadavion Clowney. Um, I think it'll be a couple days because as I've read, the Saints have to uh, have been talking to players to uh, restructure cap room and uh, making Loomis the cap god. Uh, not cap or like the lying one, but cap. Just I'm stupid. I haven't been in this for a while. But, um, yeah, uh, Loomis is trying to create cap room to sign Jadavion, and I think this could be a, a great signing to our team. Now, don't, this does raise a couple questions. What does this mean for Marcus Davenport? He, Marcus Davenport would probably shift more into a plug-and-play role. He would not be a starter, and he would kind of just come in when the starter's retired, and he would play it a little bit, but... Is that really what we want for that first round pick we used on him? Uh, what does this mean for Alvin Kamara? It might not mean nothing because if Clowney's on a one year deal, we just I only have to worry about the next year. But this also could mean that we don't see Kamara here any longer. And I might make a video addressing the Alvin Kamara situation, but. Uh, let me know if you guys want that. But Jadavion Clowney is a wonderful player. We add him to this D-line with Cam Jordan, Sheldon Rankins, and uh, David, I'm going to say his name wrong, Onyemeta. We're going to be scary. And I mean scary. We already are scary when you have Cam Jordan breaking off. Then Sheldon Rankins is back and healthy. David Onyemeta was one of the most underrated players, according to Pro Football Focus. And now you add Jadavion Clowney. We're going to be a scary team, man. Uh, hopefully we just don't choke in the playoffs like we do every year. That one hurt, but it's true. Anyway, uh, it is confirmed that the New Orleans Saints are interested in Jadavion Clowney. It is not confirmed whether he signed with the Saints or Titans, but I do believe Nader saying that I, I'm going to go with my gut and believe Nader 723. Now, I'm not saying it's official yet, but... There's a reason I kind of feel like Clowney would pick us, and that's because Clowney was offered a one, two, three, and four-year deal by the Cleveland Browns of $18 million, and he turned every single one down because he didn't want to play for Cleveland. 
And I'm pretty sure you want to play for Cleveland because it's a losing culture. And the Saints right now are in a winning culture. We want to win. We want to win a Super Bowl. And I think Clowney values that ring way more than he values the money because to him, $10 million and $18 million is probably the same thing. To me, I'm like, fuck it. I'll take whatever. You give me $3 more. <laughs> anyway, um... Yeah, I, I really think Clowney is going to pick the New Orleans Saints. I think it's going to be a great addition for our team. I'm a little nervous because the season is just coming up, so he's going to have to learn our playbook rather quick. But I think he'll adjust very well. I think he'll fit in here very well with New Orleans. Um, I think it'll be a great addition for our team. And I really hope Nader is right and uh, that he's signing. And I really hope the Mickey Loomis can pull this off. I hope the Titans don't get him because fuck the Titans. Um, and yeah, uh, but now to address where I was for the past three months. Um, there's no real, there's kind of a couple reasons why I stopped. Uh, the off season got really boring and I ran out of ideas and no one was viewing my Madden content. And uh, it just kind of demotivated me for YouTube and uh, I was going to college soon um, and I still I still am enrolled but it, it's complicated but I was going to college soon at that time I was really anxious and scared and you know I've never li I've only lived in this house I've only been in this room my entire 18 years of life I was really scared and I thought there's no way I can continue this channel with fucking in a dorm room so I basically just said I'm not I just said I quit I'm done I'm done this is not the thing I once liked it to be but um then we're gonna fast forward uh about a week ago um it was move-in day for where I was going to college and uh I moved in and two days ago they sent us all home because we had 600 cases of coronavirus in a week. So my parents picked me up. I'm back home now. Uh, I am quarantining in my room for 14 days to make sure that they are safe. I take COVID very seriously and I suggest all of you do as well. So, uh, you know, I was kind of like, I and mean, I just had a revelation. Like I kind of miss giving my opinion on football. You know, everything's getting interesting again, starting back up. And I was like, fuck it, I'm in my room for 14 days, why not make a video for you guys, be able to talk to people while I'm stuck here, and, uh, yeah, that, that's basically it, I just kind of lost interest and got really anxious, uh, three months ago, and kind of gave up on the channel, and now, uh, we're back, I guess, I have no idea how long this will last, I mean, I gotta say, I do have a college workload, so it's gonna be rather difficult to upload as much as I want to but you know you got to make time for your passions and I like I recording this video I am like having fun and being passionate about it but yeah that's it uh if you guys enjoyed this and uh want your Davion on the join hit that like button if you guys want more Saints news and hit that sub button leave me a comment Please, I'm bored as hell. I'm stuck in my room for 14 days. Until next time, guys, peace.